How to access your intuition by listening to your favorite music. Sometimes music is the only thing that takes your mind off everything else. Unknown. All major art forms can be a way to experience a deeper part of ourselves, but there is something unique about music. Perhaps it's because music is a frequency with no physical form, so it can easily become a pathway to the formless realms of intuition and our higher selves or soul. We may never know for sure, but it is clear that music has a powerful effect. I have had experiences of feeling whole, connected, and complete when listening to music. However, I was not consciously aware of these experiences for a long time. I can remember driving my car, listening to my favorite songs, and being transported someplace. It was an experience of complete euphoria and wholeness. At the time, these were mainly subconscious experiences, and all I was aware of while listening was that I felt good. As I started to develop and use my intuitive abilities, I began to have many conscious experiences of my higher self. Only with this reference point did I become aware of how many times I connected with my higher self while listening to music. It was the same experience. Not all music will feel like a spiritual experience, and the pieces that do will be specific to the person listening, as we're all unique. You may have said, without thinking much about it, that a particular song speaks to your soul. It does, and you will want to listen for its helpful guidance. Have you ever heard a song and then put it on repeat for the whole day or even a week? I sure have, many times. It seems like each time I play a favorite tune, it opens my heart a bit more to reveal hidden emotions and desires. These are the types of moments and songs you will want to observe to see what your inner wisdom is showing you. Over the past four months, I have been atypically listening to some of my favorite music from the 1980s, Time After Time by Cyndi Lauper, Hazy Shade of Winter by The Bangles, Cherished by Madonna, to name a few. Even current songs with an 80s feel find themselves first on my playlists. I began to internally investigate why the sudden 80s music craze in my life when I received a knowing from my higher self that I was homesick and needed to talk more with family. I then started to recall childhood scenes of me playing with the family and neighborhood friends. I was in my formative years during this decade, and my siblings were still living at home. The 80s was the only decade my entire family lived in the house before my older siblings moved away. It was a fun and joyful time in my life. My whole family now lives all over the country, and I live in Hawaii. We usually travel several times a year to see each other, but not this year because of the pandemic. I have been suppressing sadness about not being able to travel easily and safely to see my loved ones for many months without realizing it. The 80s binge I've been experiencing these past few months was a way for me to emote this sadness and experience the childhood nostalgia associated with this music genre. Once my higher self revealed the deeper feelings around my recent propensity towards 80 music, I began to reach out to my family more, which has helped with my feelings of isolation. Next time while listening to this music, take some time to reflect internally on what is happening and if any high levels of intuitive information are coming through. What I mean by high levels is direct guidance coming from your higher self or soul. There are ways to tell if you are getting intuitive guidance from your higher self while listening to music. You can observe specific characteristics right away that indicate you are receiving soul level information. For example, intuitive information from your higher self is always accepting and loving. This loving feeling is inclusive and leaves none of you feeling left out or unworthy. Soul level guidance will not come with harsh judgments and guilt trips. Another characteristic of soul level information is that it will often come in very quietly. You may have heard phrases like whispers of the soul or the still inner voice. This is often the case when your soul is speaking. Music naturally stills your mind, which creates a quieter internal environment for higher guidance to come through. Guidance from your higher self is enveloped in peace. I notice that this peace is often present when listening to music I love. Even if a song's message is heartbreaking, it still rides on a wave of peace if it's speaking to my soul. Being in motion while listening to music, like on a bike ride or dancing, can heighten this experience of connecting to soul-level intuitive information. Mugna helps loosen your spiritual body so you can become more open and receptive. Intuitive information will often become conscious when the physical body moves, especially if you're relaxed. If you've ever had an epiphany with your earbuds in, on a jog or an elliptical, with your mind clear, blood pumping, and heart open, you know what I mean. 
a relaxed nervous system is vital for hearing high levels of intuitive information. If the nervous system is on high alert, your internal environment will be very noisy. Information coming from the higher self is gentle and quiet, so having a relaxed nervous system will foster a space within you to hear your soul's guidance. Listening to music while exercising outdoors is a great combo for hearing your intuition. We are intimately connected to the natural environment, and exercising outside in beautiful areas will naturally quiet and relax your body's nervous system. I'm guessing you may have already experienced this as well. You're at the beach, or in a park, your earbuds creating a perfect soundtrack to the beautiful, peaceful scenery, and suddenly life becomes clearer. If you don't live in a place with a lot of natural outdoor beauty, put on some relaxing or heart opening music in headphones and go for a walk. Do what you can to create a peaceful inner environment as you move around. Additionally, if moving around is something you can't do, try taking a long bath or sit next to a body of water. Make the environment pleasant by lighting a candle or putting on your favorite soothing music. Water is a strong current for intuitive information. You may be surprised how much intuitive guidance will come through in these therapeutic settings. I have had many revelations in the tub or after a dip in the ocean. I often will get into a body of water when I'm feeling scattered, anxious, or confused. After soaking for a while, my nerves and mind will relax, and the next step I am looking for will appear. Whether you listen to music while exercising, at a concert, or just lounging around the house, I encourage you to think about the kinds of intuitive messages you get while listening. Is your higher self calling you to hold a different perspective, forgive, or acknowledge your true feelings about something? If you love lyrics, pay attention to words you're drawn to and note what is happening in your life at that moment. Do the two relate? I tend to gravitate toward listening to instrumental songs. I feel they give me a blank canvas to interpret soul-level guidance more clearly. You may find that too. You will want to write down the soul-level information you receive while listening to music, apply it to your life, and then see if it has value for you. You can measure value by whether something is uplifting, useful, and helps you grow in character. Remember that if you closely observe your internal environment while listening to your favorite songs, you can intuitively reveal what your soul is saying to you and then you can act on it and change your life.